Let's talk more about the media coverage of this and welcome in former congressional candidate from Illinois, Catalina Lauf. Also back with us, Stacey Washington, host of Stacey on the Right on Sirius XM and co-host or co-chair of the Project 21. And back with us again, Republican strategist and attorney Amanda Maki. Now, I'm, I'm going to spare you guys uh, the trouble of talking about Ted Cruz. I did that for you. But I do want to focus on the media coverage here because ABC News, World News Tonight last night gave Ted Cruz four times as much coverage as Andrew Cuomo in that nursing home scandal. Stacey, obviously this isn't fair. It's not fair. Um, and I have kind of been giving Ted Cruz a little bit of a pass because he has this special place in my heart because out of all of our senators, there are very few of them who fight. And so I'm in the great state of Missouri, the show me state. And we have two senators here. We have, um, you know, Senator Roy Blunt and we have Josh Hawley. Senator Hawley is the junior senator, but he makes all of the noise. And I'm not talking about nonsense noise. I mean, right. he gets all of the clips when he's, you know, cross-examining these candidates. When he's when he's talking about big tech, he, he's on message, he's on brand, he's on the issues. I feel like if anyone is out there swinging their sword for me and for Americans, it's it's Senator Hawley. Uh, senator Roy Blunt, I know him. We have each other's cell phone numbers, but he's nowhere to be found. It's, I know he works there, but I can't find him. So Ted Cruz, for me, because, you know, relationships bring uh, the ability to have a little bit of largesse. So sure. you and I, John, I, I remember you interviewing me like six or seven years ago. So, you know, I've known you quite a while. So if I saw a story about you taking a vacation uh, during something like this, I give you a pass. I know you. For people who don't know Ted Cruz or people who hate him, this is an opportunity to take him down. Sure. But the fact is, he's one of our best. He is the most articulate uh, articulate at describing what the Constitution actually means when we have a huge thorny issue that people want to put their emotions into or they want to put money into it or they want to put demographics into it. Like, I apparently am not here on Skype with you using the Internet because I'm black, because that's what Joe Biden thinks. That's about right. Joe people. Biden does. Yeah, you can't right. register for your covid vaccine. Right. I have a black person here off off camera who's helping me to use the Internet right now, because apparently as a black person, I can't use it. So there are bigger fish to fry. But you made a point there just a second ago before you brought us on. That's really important. And that is that the, you can't give ammo to the people on the left who will just capitalize on it. And so it's a mistake for him. But Ted Cruz, in my opinion, will weather this and he'll come out strong because he, he works. He actually yeah. works on behalf of all of us. Yeah, it's a misstep. It's not a, it's not as big as killing or being accused of killing thousands of people, uh, Catalina. Yes, no, I 100% agree with Stacey. Uh, you know, coming from Illinois, where we have the weakest of the weak and the worst of the worst in the in the Democrat and senators, you know, Ted Cruz is a champion and a patriot for all of us nationally. And, you know, at the end of the day, sure, it's a misstep, but... What, in reality, it shows that the media is just looking for another target because they don't have President Trump uh, in elected office currently. They want somebody like Ted Cruz to be apologizing and to be in the constant news cycle. Uh, and it's completely distracting, like you mentioned, John, on the, the Cuomo situation, the Lincoln Project. I mean, these allegations are serious. They are criminal if found to be true. And and this needs to be complete. It just shows the complete hypocrisy. Yeah. And it's quite disgusting what our media has turned into. Especially when you look over at MSNBC, where Nicole Wallace, who knows these Lincoln guy projects, the Lincoln Project guys very well, worked with Steve Schmidt on the McCain campaign and John Weaver too. You know, she's being accused of being complicit, if not, you know, for not speaking out against this when she allegedly know, knew about it. So yeah, this whole thing to consider in this this. Uh, so when you see the Lincoln Project tweet hitting Ted Cruz, it obviously rings hollow, Amanda. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think the Lincoln Project can be, you know, dismissed as of, you know, everything that they did in the last week and all the cover-ups that they had of their own. But look, uh, we gave the, the left a perfect boogeyman. Now they have the ability to not talk about Cuomo, not talk about Joe Biden. Joe Biden hasn't gone to Texas. He has no plans to go to Texas. Remember when we would see these flyovers by presidents? You know, you didn't yeah. have to drive through it. You could fly over. They've said, no, no, it's it's too much of a distraction, too many logistics involved. And that's what I mean, President Trump did. You know, he showed up. He went to California for the fires, even though he wasn't welcome there by Gavin Newsom. It was a little awkward, but he showed up because he cheers people up. And that's what you do when you're a leader. You show up to do the work. And I, I think Ted Cruz can certainly recover from this. Um, but the media coverage is just over the top. Our thanks to our panel. We got to run. We'll be right back. More coming up here. We're going to talk about Rush Limbaugh and his help working with us on Troopathon. Don't go away.